Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today we're going to have a slightly less formal video. Basically, I wanted to go over what I basically said a while back. When I was making this portable PC and when I upgraded it to Ryzen, both times I mentioned that I'm going to be making this a battery-powered PC. And as you can see, it's still running off of a Flex PSU down here. But I have all the parts to make this thing battery-powered now. I basically have everything wired up with the old motherboard and CPU that was in here and today I just wanted to go over what I've done so far, how close I am to having it working and trying to get some feedback from you guys on which way I should do it and possibly if you guys could help me out in figuring out how to do one part. The reason it's taken so long to get this done is for one, I've had to buy certain pieces that have taken forever to come in and then for two, it's not exactly the easiest thing the way I want to do it. I want it to work just like a laptop does. So basically when I plug in the power brick, it is charging the battery then rather than me having to take the battery out and charge it separately and stuff like that. That's an easy option and that is already easily working right now if I wanted it to be. But let's take a look at the actual system and I'll explain. So here's the system right now. You can see my Dell power brick which is a 330 watt model which isn't plugged into anything at the moment. And then right now the system is getting power from the HD Plex. The HD Plex is obviously getting power from the battery and this is the charger for the battery. It's not getting any sort of power at the moment. But right here you can see this is a multi-star 20,000 milliamp hour battery. From initial testing so far it looks like it will actually last quite a few hours running normal everyday tasks and maybe even video editing for a while. It'll last maybe three hours or something like that. I haven't done very long testing yet because I actually want this working before I'm really diving into the testing. But anyways, you can see the battery is wired to a little percentage meter here, which shows that it's at 93%. And then right here, it wires up to a power jack. And the unique thing about this power jack is it's actually a switch. Basically what it does is when the power supply plugs in, it immediately switches off the battery power and switches just to the power supply power. And then that is what's wired into the HD Plex. Obviously I've left a lot of lead wire right now because I'm not sure how long it needs to be for when I actually put it in the case over here, obviously. But basically, clearly it works. You know, it's running off a battery right now. And just to show you guys, let me power this thing on. Let me jump it. Okay. So the system is booting on right now and this is all just off of the battery. And it looks like it's doing that stupid automatic repair because like I've said, I've been fiddling with it and I'm having issues on how to do certain things. So it has shut off three times and when it shuts off three times, it goes into the stupid automatic repair thing. So let me just restart the computer real quick. Okay. And we'll get into Windows 10 now. Okay. And just to show you guys that this battery can totally handle this computer, I'm gonna run Heaven Benchmark real quick. Let's run it. Okay, so that's Heaven Benchmark running right. Stupid Steam. All right, so that's Heaven Benchmark running. Obviously, I have a 1050 Ti in there because that matches what's already in the system. And then that is the 7700K that used to be in that system. It's a pretty similar wattage wise as the 1800X. The 1800X is just a little bit more. So that's fine for testing purposes. But the thing that I, I keep having an issue with and what I'm wondering if you guys can help me out is I've got it where this power supply plugs in fine and it switches over to the power supply just fine. But I'm trying to figure out a way of powering this charger at the same time and theoretically 
this should work the way I have it. I have a step down buck converter here that converts the 19 and a half volts coming out of the tail power brick to somewhere in between 11 and 18 volts, which is what this thing is required to run on. I've tested it at all sorts of different voltages, all the way from 12, all the way up to about 17.9 to see if any one of those volts works. But every single time it says that it has low DC power. And I can't quite figure out why that is. Let me shut off Heaven Minch Bark now. All right, prove that it runs. But anyways, like I was saying, I can't figure out why it shorts out the system and doesn't seem to get enough power because theoretically this system's running on like 250 watts max um i just don't see this is a 330 watt power supply 250 watts from the computer and the charger requires only about 60 watts so you do the math there that's 310 watts i should have plenty of room for this thing to run while the computer's running at the same time, even if it's maxing out the TDP. So I don't get why it doesn't work. It might be something with the way I'm wiring it. If you can see right now, they're kind of all wired. They're all spliced together. I have the, basically I have the power, positive and negative, wired to the positive and negative of the Dow power brick, which is wired to the positive and negative lead going to this buck converter, which then goes to the positive and negative lead of the power plug for the charger. And just to show you guys how the Dell power brick works, let me go ahead and plug this in. Let me plug the Dell power brick into the wall. Oh, sorry, you're just kind of sitting on top of it. Okay. And then if you guys can see this, Dell power brick just got plugged in and it's now powering the system. The battery is no longer supplying power to it. And the buck converter says 19.6 volts, which is pretty close to what is coming out of this power brick. So what's going to happen now is when I plug in this into the Sky Mac or the Sky RC. You can see now that it's working just fine, no issues. But this all of a sudden starts showing 24 volts. And I'm not exactly sure why that would happen. be happening. It should still be showing 19 and a half roughly. And I can't figure out why, but if I switch... Oh, that turned it off. Whoops. If I switch over, I have it set to 17.6 volts right now. And as you can see, it looks like it's working fine, but then when I go and try to charge it, it'll run for about four seconds and then say DC in too low. And it happens every single time, no matter what voltage I set it at and everything. And as showing here, it's still showing way too many volts here and I still can't quite figure it out. How can a 19 and a half volt charger be displaying 23.8, 23.9 volts right now when it starts at 19 and a half before I plug into this? It just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm hoping maybe one of you guys are an electrician or understand this a little bit better than I do. I can tell you right now I'm very much an amateur when it comes to this. I've done tons of research to try to figure this thing out and obviously I'm pretty close to getting it working just right but I can't figure out the charger and if I really have to if I just can't do this I have two options of doing the charger rather than doing it like this I can either have a separate power brick that turns on the charger so obviously I'll have to plug in this to power the system and then another power brick to plug in the charger so that I can charge the battery at the same time, which would kind of suck, but there are laptops that use two power bricks. I mean, that $9,000 Acer Predator uses two power bricks, um, but it's just not something I really wanted to do when theoretically this should be all I need. 
but I feel like I'm, I'm like this close to figuring out how to do it and I'm just not quite there. So maybe again one of you guys can help me in the comments below or something like that or message me directly through any social media platform or my email or whatever because I'm really trying to figure this out and I really want this to be in the system and to charge the battery whenever I plug in the power brick. So if any of you guys can figure out what I'm doing wrong here, that would be awesome. If not, I'm continuing to do research and I'll have a step-by-step -step guide the second I get this actually done. And then obviously I'll have a video of me shrinking everything down and getting it into this actual case, which is definitely going to be in a challenge in itself because I'm only taking away this right here so should be interesting to see if I can take away this and have enough room for all of this the battery is going to be the biggest thing that's going to be trouble but it is a six cell battery and this is just kind of like a wrapping in it so I'm thinking that I can take this wrapping off and take each cell out which is all going to be wired up already and kind of strategically place them around the case to fit it into this case. Otherwise, if it doesn't fit in this one, they do have the A30 coming out soon, which is gonna be a little bit bigger than this case. So maybe I'll just kind of look at that case instead and do kind of a portable PC in that one with the battery and everything. If not, again, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I wanted to let you guys know where I was at with the battery powered PC. Obviously, I'm really, really close, but I'm just not quite there yet. And maybe with your guys' help, we can be there. I really love doing these kind of unique builds and stuff like that. And I really wanted to just have you guys participating in this experience. And hey, maybe one of you guys know what I'm doing wrong, which would be awesome. If you guys ever wanted to help out this channel, you can always click my Amazon affiliate links down below. Or you could go to my Patreon link and donate you know, whatever amount you want. If not, again, I don't care. It's just a way of supplementing this uh, YouTube thing. And I'm just trying to get more content out for you guys. I hope you guys like this video. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!